Assalamu alaikum, peace. Shalom. Hotel. Power to my people. What it do? <clears throat> you know me, I'm all over the place. You feel me? But man, you know, uh, just like the video I put out about the, uh, you know, the education uh, of this so-called school, the school system. Who does it benefit? <clears throat> at the end of the day. And then you get these so-called degrees, get these loans, you go to school, you get out, think you're going to get a job, you ain't got a job, so you barely got to work at Walmart, uh, somewhere that it, that it feels beneath you and you feel like you waste your time. Now, I'm talking about black people who went to school and did all this and all this. They get these high marketing jobs. <clears throat> And do all that and still get treated like a nigga. They don't say it no more. They just treat you like a nigga. They ain't got to. You can do all that hard work all you want to. Pronunciate it and clarity all, all, God, all goddamn day. <laughs> it ain't gonna even matter. But yo, I got this, uh, this content for my Roland Martin about the guys from the GM plant and how they was treated at their job. And, you know, t to get in a high ranking of a job or such, you know, you have to do your thing in the books or whatever a uh, horse and pony show you might have to go through to, to, to obtain a job. But it's a bunch of bullshit if you just ask me. But I'm going to let Roland uh, do his thing. Folks, an absolutely disgusting and infuriating story out of Toledo, Ohio. Last night, Sarah Seidner of CNN broke the story of brutal out in the open racism at a GM plant there in Toledo. Current and former employees of GM are suing the company for tolerating a racially hostile work environment where use of the N-word was common. Here's a portion of Seidner's report. The two men she interviews were supervisors at the plant with six-figure salaries before the constant racism forced them out. When did you notice overt racism? Well, when an employee that was under me, he told me that back in the day, a person like me would have been there. See, and that's another thing. Brothers, if you got a position, that job, and there's some white people up under you, let me ask you this question. <laughs> do they like your supervision? Do they do exactly what you tell them to do or do they go astray i'm sorry you continue hey, what a shovel. he said what to you that was a death threat and i was told to push that to the side lloyd says he reported the incident he admitted to it and i was pulled to the side and said you know if you want to build relationships here you know you just let things go he'll be all right but he says the threats got worse were you afraid for your life definitely that's why I left. All right, folks. GM denied there was such a work environment, but the Ohio Civil Rights Commission, after a nine-month investigation, found that GM did allow a racially hostile environment. And these are pictures from the plant. Ray Wood, former president of United Auto Workers Local 14 at the plant, and the current president of the Toledo NAACP also filed a separate discrimination suit. He joins us now from Toledo. So, Ray, glad to have you uh, here on the show. Uh, how's it? <clears throat> well, I want to go too far and then back and forth with that, but it's just like, it's, it's, it, it's sad, but it ain't sad because <laughs> if, if people don't want you to be around them, why you want to go be around them? That's just like integrating back in the day. So a lot, a lot of older people that's older than me say that they, they didn't, they didn't dig it. They, this ain't, this, this ain't moose to talk. These are people that's older than me. They felt like they had families, a complete family, a mother, father, granddad, and a grandmother. 
Now, you know, with the welfare thing that kicked in and all this other bullshit, kicking a man out in the, in the Me Too shit, that's that's bullshit. If it's going to be a Me Too movement, okay, it's a Me Too movement. Y'all would be just like men, right? Y'all want to have the same rights as men, right? First of all, but learn how to fucking change your own goddamn tie. Learn how to put up with stress and start, you know what I'm saying, start going off on any goddamn body. And guess what else, motherfucker? Guess what else? Why don't you pay our premiums? You want to be just like me? It's just the hypocrisy I talk about of this world. This world is sick. And God's going to do his thing to it. And I don't care if I die. Let me just witness some of it. Just take me some. Just take me out of here peacefully, but man, this world is so wicked, man. And ties are gonna turn. But this is your boy, man. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, man. And I'll be out. Peace out.